Right, so tonight's impact was actually a very, very great show. From the opening bell to the final bell, the card itself was awesome. And the crowd itself was enjoying it, which was important in my opinion. And as we all know, whenever TNA goes over to Europe for the Maximum Impact Tour, they get treated with respect, which is awesome to see. All right. But again, this video is about MVP being the new TNA investor. And I'm going to be honest. Going into this, I had this belief that Jeff Jarrett was going to be the investor. I knew MVP was coming to TNA, but I didn't think he'd be the investor. All right. And at the end of the show, you have Samoa Joe and Angle in the ring. They finish, you know, beating, you know, EC3 and Magnus in their tag team match. And because of the win, Samoa Joe now gets a title shot against Magnus. And after the match, you see Dixie Carter with Rockstar Spud. They come out to the ring, and they're calling out this new TNA investor, whoever it was, to come out to the ring now. And the lights go out, and all you hear is tick tock, tick tock, like a clock. And out comes the Wolves, Eddie and Davey, and out comes MVP, and he's holding his MVP chain. All right, and what's funny is people are saying, oh, the WWE reject, but at the end of the day, you know, it's interesting. You know, the crowd enjoyed it, which was awesome to see, you know, and I think honestly what's going to happen, he's going to stick as an investor. He will not be wrestling, if you ask me. I mean, he might have a match or two, but again, it was enjoyable. You know, the crowd received it well. And I think that's what helped me enjoy the show even more, that the crowd was enjoying it, all right? Which I'm going to get into also, all right? Kind of a little rant, but whatever. It's my video, and whatever it is, what it is. So, CNA has been in the UK for the next for the last week now, or something like that, like last, the last couple of days, okay? And they had a house show in Dublin where the venue was completely sold out. It was packed. And there was a picture posted about it. And I posted it on the page. Alright, but yeah, you can you get the idea. And what was amazing to me was that, you know, none of these websites like NoDQ.com, Lords of Pain, Russell Zone, or any other website out there, or any of these smarks, were posting about were posting this picture or saying anything about it. And it comes to show you the hypocrisy of this wrestling community that a lot of you always love to promote the negativity when it comes over to TNA. Like, whatever, if TNA would have a house show over here in the U.S., where, obviously, they don't fill out their venue, there's a lot of empty seats, you always have that one person taking a picture of the venue, and they send it out to these websites, and these websites put it on their page, and trying to take a jab at TNA. Especially Aaron Rift. Aaron Rift, the king of that. He always has that one person or two going to these shows, taking a picture, and sending it to his website. But you never see Aaron Riff promote anything positive about TNA. You know what I'm saying? And it amazes me that a website like his, that's known around the world, as far as the wrestling community, doesn't mention this or references this. And it's amazing, too, that tonight, Impact was in Glasgow, where, again, another sold-out venue, but, again, you don't see any of these websites mentioning that TNA sold out a venue. They always mention the negative. Oh, they can't sell out this. They can't sell out a high school gym. And it comes to show you the hypocrisy of the wrestling community. And it's sickening as a wrestling fan. Like today, I had an argument with someone on Facebook because I watched TNA and it's like, dude, I'm a wrestling fan. I'm not just TNA, you know, fanboy and shit. Like, I'm a wrestling fan. You know, this wrestling on Thursday nights, I'm going to watch it. No difference if... You know, it was a Monday night, I'm watching Raw, or, you know, Saturday night, I'm watching Ring of Honor online. There's no different. I'm a wrestling fan. You feel me? And I understand there's people out there that, throughout the years, you know, they try to give TNA a chance, and they got so frustrated that they gave up on the product, which I understand. It's fine. You know, it's your decision, you know? But at the end of the day, a lot of you fans should not be very hypocritical, which is very annoying if you ask me. And this was talked about on the podcast today with myself, Gavin Knox, Knowledge of Wrestling, and WWE TNA for Life. But I feel like I'm saying it here as well. But I'm also going to have a link to the podcast down below in the description. Go check it out. I know it's like a two-hour podcast, but I feel like it's really worth checking out. We talk about a lot of stuff. Wrestling, current events, random stuff. But I feel like it's worth watching. So I want to say in this video, I want to hear from you guys. What are your thoughts on all this? Do you guys agree with what I'm saying? Do you disagree? Drop your comments down below in the comment section of this video. No one is wrong as always. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. 
and I'll catch you later in the next video. I'm out. Peace.